Hey, all right, everybody, welcome back. And this is a special occasion. This is actually our very last shooter for this qualifying round. In fact, uh, let's bring up, uh, uh, first, let's bring him in. Mudslide Mac, welcome to the show. Howdy, howdy. How y'all? All right, so, so before we get started, I kind of want to take us on a little bit of a journey. So when we started this uh, competition, we had, I think it's 42 contestants. And we narrowed it down to 32. And let me show the screen here. So the here's the top 32. And while you were, uh, let's see here. I just sorry, I just got a note here. Dave, same bet is using the wrong key. I'm not sure what that means. Um, uh, John from Procraps, I'm not sure what that means. If you need to kick me off Casino Gaming, go right ahead. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what that means. Uh, all right, so let's get back to it. So uh, we had. Uh, the first round we had 42 to 44, something like that. We narrowed the field down to 32, and that's the 32 shooters that you see on the screen right here. Now, out of that round, Mudslide Mac, you were number one. You got the uh, top, uh, the top spot uh, in that round. Now, here we are today. We're trying to narrow that uh, 16 shooters down to eight. You are our final contestant uh, uh, in this round. So you will decide who is moving on and who is not. Now, I see oh, number God. eight. <laughs> no, no, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. So I see number eight is G-Dub. If you roll more than 10, if you roll an 11 or greater, you will knock G-Dub out of the competition. And uh, uh, depending on how many you roll, you will uh, slide in there somewhere. And we'll take a look at that at the very end, see how things shake up. See who is moving on and who is not. We got a lot of people out there watching us tonight. Uh, just a, a couple, just to uh, give him a shout out. Joseph Ramos, we've got him. Duracell, he's out there watching. Joe Craps Master Journey, Midmo Yo, Victor Del Mastro, Duracell, <laughs> Old Bay Craps, uh, and just, just too many to mention. So we, we've got a, a great round of people uh, out here watching you tonight. All right, so let's go over a few of the ground rules. Uh, that nothing has changed since the last time that, that you rolled. So your responsibilities. As you roll the dice, the shooter must ensure that the results are clearly visible to either bring the dice into view by using a stick or by moving your phone or camera temporarily into a position so that we can see the results of the dice. Now, we've already done a little setup, so I can, uh, I can tell you that I can clearly see your dice. That's not gonna be an issue. I really don't think that's gonna be an issue. But if there is some sort of discrepancy, if I cannot quite tell what's happened, I might have to request that you do a, a, a call it a no roll and have you roll it again. Uh, okay. You're not so. So that that that's it for my responsibilities. Your responsibilities. Let's see here. Oh no 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 no. I'm sorry. That's it for your responsibilities. <laughs> my responsibilities, on the other hand, are to make you feel at ease. So I'm going to stop telling you that there's 26 people watching you right now and that you have to roll <laughs> to 10 or 11. Uh, yeah. While you're shooting, I am going to refrain from speaking unless I really need to. Uh, so we're going to keep things quiet yes. for you. Yes, only speak if spoken to, Dave. <laughs> that, that's right. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, this round, uh, we're still doing two attempts. You've got two 
uh, two rounds uh, to get a 11 or better. Uh, in the event that you roll 10 uh, as your highest, we will average those two. And then the average, uh, highest average, either you or G-Dub will move on to the next round. And I do see G-Dub out there uh, watching and he's uh, telling you, hey, let's go, you old hippie. So, so he's out there rooting on you. Yeah, well, great, we've got some great I, team spirit. I got your chip right here, G-Dub. <laughs> I wish I could have zoomed in on that. Yeah, yeah, G Dub has oh, got here, one here, of his here, own chips. There we go. I can't. Yeah. I, I I would screw up our camera system if I tried to zoom in on it. So, oh, it so, says, so that's let's all see, good. Uh, G Dub Texas. And it looks yeah, like G Dub uh, definitely represents the great. That's state his of logo Texas, on there. Sure. That he does. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a great gentleman, and I would uh, I feel honored to be at a, in, a, in a spot to knock him off. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so and I, and, I this, will, and I will apologize ahead of time if that happens. I don't think there's it. I, you know, I know G Dub personally, and I know he will not take it. He will not take it personally. And he he's a competitor. Oh, he I understands he the not. spirit. Yeah, yeah. So G Dub, he's yeah. he's a great he's a great competitor. He's a good All one. right, I've, I've met uh, G-Dub. let's see here. A couple of uh, housekeeping things. I just see uh, John from Procraps. Uh, posted out there. Everyone stay tuned after this. They're going to start up the Friday night fight uh, right after this one on a different link. And John, I really apologize. Uh, uh, John from Procraps, I really have, uh, apologize for doing this. Uh, uh, timing, this is this is when we could get it done. So uh, so we're, 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 we're going to push forward. Now, I do want to address a, another thing. So uh, this round has gone on quite a while. Uh, it's gone on several weeks. And uh, a lot of people are anxious to, to get this moving in, and rightly so. But I, I do want to get on a soapbox for a second. Now, this tournament, if we had very strict timelines, uh, we wouldn't have had 42 participants. Yeah, it might have moved by a little bit faster, but the idea uh, of this tournament is uh, participation. It's not a race uh, we'll get there. We'll get to the finish line. That uh, don't worry about that. So uh, I think what, really what I want to say is patience, guys. We'll get there, and everybody just have fun, enjoy the competition, enjoy the spirit of the the show here, and uh, and let's just have a little bit of fun with it. All right, uh, Mudslide Mac, are you uh, ready to start your round? I'm ready. Does somebody need to give me a set so we know we're not oh, cheating or yeah. lying? Or <laughs> okay, so you're a better host than I am. Uh, can somebody <laughs> out in the audience give us a uh, dice set to prove that we are live and no funny business going on here? So I'm monitoring the chat, see if we get somebody to, to give us a, uh, a, a dice set. If not, I've got one. We'll give it to you. Uh, so, so Victor is saying uh, uh, the hard ways. How about this? Uh, can you give us a four two well, four two? Like Old Bay Craps is asking who's tossing so I can root for them. So tonight, uh, Old Bay Craps, <laughs> tonight we've got uh, uh, Mudslide Mac here on this link, and then I, I, I after this, uh, John Pro Craps. I think I saw Vince and somebody else. I can't remember who else is. Uh, who, who else is after this? So, if, uh, uh, Mr. Procraps, if you put that in the chat, I would appreciate that. All right, that is a 4 2 4 2. I see that. We are good to go. Let's slide, Mac. Dice are in your hands. I will. Uh, thank you. All right. It's like a four one five to me. Four and a one. We've got that. Thank you very much. Five is your point. Well, the big question is: I just stick with that set or not? Mm, that is the question. Mm. That is the question. And there's a seven. Whoa. Right off the bat. All right. So I think that answered your question on uh, should you stay with that set or not. Well, I didn't. I changed it. <laughs> I changed it. 
All right, so we've got a three, four, seven. We've got a 0.7 ounce situation right here. He does get one more chance at this, and uh, let's see what he can do with that. So take a breath, reset, and let's run it again. Yeah, it looks like another seven. That time I was right. setting for sevens, though. I was setting okay. for that. That was a five two seven. I got that confirmed yeah, that on the was, come out. Yeah. So at least you know you're going to get uh, three rolls out of this uh, hand. Oh, there's a three. Two one. One, two, ace caught a okay, deuce. Okay, ace deuce, got it. Yeah, um, it is a little hard to see when it's that far out. So uh, when you bring him in um, down between I'm your sorry, two green go circles. Slower. Yeah, go just a little bit slower on that. I did see it. We're good on this one, but uh, give me just a, a, an opportunity to, to say it's confirmed. We got it. And there's a four, six, ten. Ten easy. All right. Confirmed. Got it. Easy two. So ten, ten's the point, correct? Yes, that is correct. So, so we had a uh, point seven out, then a seven, three, ten, right? That's right. Okay. There's a three one four. Four easy. Other side of the ten. Got it. Three one, thank you. There's a hard six, I believe. Yep. yep. Hard six. Okay. Traces everywhere. Confirmed. Hard six. Ooh, didn't like that toss. Uh, I didn't like it at all. 4 3. Ooh, 4 We're 3. Out. We're done. All right. It's 4 3 7. So, okay. GW, so that... you're in, buddy. <laughs> so, let's see here. Your first round was a 2, and your second round was a 6. So, let's uh, let's go take put some of these numbers into the stats and see exactly what happens. And Mudslide Mac, I, I mean, I know it was a. Uh, not the results that you were hoping for. Well, they are, they are what they are, you know. All right. Give me just a minute here. I'm going to put this in. What did I say? It was a six was your highest, and then it was a two. Is that right? Yep, six yeah. 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 He had a point seven out, and then I think I threw uh, two, one, two, three, four, five before I threw the seven. Okay. All right, so I think everybody on the screen can see it if I come over here. So this is now locked. I uh, going from uh, uh, left to, or in the left-hand column. Next up will be same bet myself, same bet and G Dub. We will be going head to head in a competition to see who moves on to the Fantastic Four. Ian Olson and Toothpick Ted. They will be in another round. My friends Bird Dog and Alfredo, they're going to go uh, have a Texas showdown uh, to see which one of those two move forward. And Chuck and Dice and Joe from Craps Master Journey will also be uh, competing. So here in the next uh, week or so, we should be trying to uh, schedule those. Uh, stay tuned for more information on when, when those will air. But uh, it should be a, a lot of fun as we move into the next round where we have a head-to-head -head competition. Now, I'm going to pull up uh, this uh, screen one more time. Down on the bottom of the screen, you see the, the ticker type symbols where you saw the rolls. So, you know, a five, a seven, a seven, a three. And, but below that, 
are some numbers, a zero, a negative one, a plus one, a negative one. Those are some points that have been assigned to the roles, and that's gonna become important in the next round. So it's not just how many uh, that you roll more numbers than the next person, it's how many points can you accumulate. Now, let's say you hit the all tall small, uh, that's worth X number of points. I don't remember what it is uh, off the top of my head. Or a fire bet or a repeater. You're going to get extra points for those uh, uh, for hitting those types of bets. Plus, you're going to get some uh, points just for your normal uh, your normal place bets, uh, things of that nature. Uh, come out sevens, or I'm sorry, uh, a seven out is going to be actually a negative point. It's going to take points away from you, uh, while a come out seven is going to add a point. So all of that, we'll try to make that a little bit more clear as we go forward, but it's going to add an interesting level uh, to the competition. Just because you can roll, uh, uh, you know, 10, 12, 15 numbers, can you hit the all tall small in that 10 to 12, 15? If so, you're going to get some extra points out of that. All right, <laughs> G-dubs out there. <laughs> Holy moly, I can't believe that just happened, so... Congratulations, GW. You are uh, you are in the yes. finals, or, or you're in the next. Congratulations, round, not the finals. GW, you made it, buddy. All right, my slide, Mac. Thank you so much for your time uh, and participation. My pleasure. Uh, my pleasure. Yeah, yeah and, and let me just say uh, real real quick as I, as I sign off here that uh, you know it's, this has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, um, and I really liked being at the top of the, the leaderboard there for several weeks in a row. Maybe that's why you know. It took me a long time to get back into this, but <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, it was, it's it's been fun, and all the best, the best wishes to all the remaining uh, players. And uh, G Dub, since you got in here on the dark horse, you you got to take it all the way, buddy. You got to take it in. <laughs> and all he can the do way. it. I've I've seen him roll yeah, before. I know he he can. can do this. <laughs> I know he can. I know he can. He's just, just got to get his bandini packed a little tighter. He'll do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see some comments out there asking some questions about. Uh, the point systems and guys, I'll be honest with you. I can't explain it to you. I'm going to have to go through the rules and, uh, uh, and dig through it and see if I can figure it out so I can explain it a little bit better when we come back. Just know that there are points associated with the roles and, uh, uh we'll explain more in detail, uh, as, as we get ne into the next rounds. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Stay tuned over, at, uh, uh, pro craps. Uh, I've already forgotten, uh, who is going to be in the head-to-head -head competition over there. But go check them out. And everybody, thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next round.